Before I went on stage, I was a bag of nerves. Um, sorry, excuse this. I am actually trying to get pan chocolate out of my teeth. Um, before I went on stage, I was an absolute state. And then when I was on stage, I was still an absolute state. And then I got off and I was an absolute state, but in a kind of happier way. Um, it was unreal. It was fantastic. Obviously, uh, Mr. Simon Cowell was off having a baby. Having a baba. Do you reckon that made you more comfortable or was it a bit of a disappointment? When we found out, I think it was a couple of hours before, you know, before I, I found out before I was going on. And I was initially like, okay, cool. I don't have Simon Cowell staring at me while I sing. Like, you know, it's going to freak out anyone. Um, but then after it had gone well, I was kind of like, oh. I kind of would have liked you there for that, actually, Simon. You know, birth of your child, my audition, whatever, you know, priorities and all that. But um, no, it was, um, it was cool, it was cool. I really wanted to get along with David because I just, you know when you see him on TV and you're like, I felt like I could get along with him and I was like, I reckon we could be friends. <laughs> but uh, I think he liked it. I, w I wasn't really scared, but I just knew that if I did if I slipped up, if, if I didn't perform well enough, then I knew that they would tell me. So, you know, they're all equally scary. Having had uh, success in the music industry, what made you decide to go on this show in particular, Brindley? Um, It's really straightforward. It's really easy, actually. I mean, I set off on this journey to become an artist in my own right years ago, you know, from a kid. You know, it's childhood dream to sing at Wembley, sing my own songs. Um, and I set out to do that and, and, I, and I tried and I tried and I tried and um, I signed two, uh, two major record labels, I was dropped twice. Um, I, I've experienced the highest highs and the lowest lows of the industry, believe me, you know. Um, but I still, to date, never actually had my own hit single. So tell us a little bit about how you started out having your songs sung by other people. Okay, so... Um, the first song I had sung by someone else, it was a song called All Time Low. People weren't feeling it, and I was like, look, I need the best for this song, and I need to make sure that I keep my head above water. I need to keep myself current and, and important. So I went, I gave it to where the love was, which was the boy band that wanted, and they smashed it, you know, and it was, it was great to see the song go out and do its thing. And they, they did a good job of it. They did it justice, and. You know, hearing that, hearing them sing that on radio for the first time, I was very proud. You know, pat on the back. You're not friends with the lads by any chance, are you? Any of them? I mean, you know, they're they're all around the world, so I, I wouldn't say that I'm, you know, I'm busy for busy, you know, levels with with any of them. But you know, Tom from the One is um, very close with, and um, you know, whenever I'm, whenever I see them, you know, I say hello and we catch up and whatever. So it's, um, yeah. Did you ever see yourself in a boy band? Oh, believe me, I've been in boy bands. You know, it's all part of the process of trying to get to where you want to be. I did auditions when I was 15, 16, 17, 18. You know, to try in all sorts of horrible, horrible bands, you know, going along to weird little halls and, you know, like singing in front of some random, you know, old man, a bit weird. Um, you know, trying to get trying to get to where you want to be and 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 I think anyone out there that sees me doing Britain's Got Talent will understand, you know, anyone, anyone that is going for their own dream, the songwriting side is incredible. But I have, I have a dream, you know, I have a dream and I haven't yet done that and that's what I'm here to do, that's, that's what I'm here to do. Finally, uh, the, the show is obviously Britain's Got Talent. You're an excellent singer, songwriter, an excellent singer. Do you have any hidden talents, anything secret that we don't know about yet? Um, I was thinking about this the other day, just in case I got asked, and I couldn't think of anything. How are your cooking skills? How are your culinary? I'm a good cook. That's a bit normal, isn't it? Do you cook? Of course I cook, I'm Nigerian. <laughs> awesome, please bring me some food. <laughs> You've just eaten a, a croissant. I've still got half a pan of chocolate sat there. Still got half of it in my teeth. You, honestly, you can't see it, I promise you.